welcome to this video my name is Abhishek and today we will see about the how to install the Google Assistant on Windows systems. You can install on Linux as well as Mac OS systems because the Melvin developer has provided the detailed guide on his site. I will put the link in the description below you can check that out and if you are a Windows user so you can follow this video for installing the Google Assistant on your Windows devices. So guys to so install the Google Assistant on your Windows platform just go to the link in the description below and here you can find the github page for the of the developer he have written the detailed article about how to install it so i'll follow this article in the video guide so first step is to head on to the action console let me open in the new tab so i'll look up to that later so open in the new tab and now click on the new project and here i'll enter assistant one you can enter anything click on create project and now scroll down below and here click on are you looking for device registration then click here so it will create your project so this guide is quite lengthy because this is a unofficial version of the google assistant so it might take time so make sure to stick around at the end so after set up the project the new window will open so let's wait for a few seconds so yes here is the device registration screen and now click on the register model now enter your details like you can enter anything one one and clear select device type anything like i select phone now click on the register model button so we have to download this oauth 2.0 credentials so click on download and also i'll just copy this code and paste it in the notepad just because if something is useful for the code so click on next and now click on save trades so the our model is registered now so the first one step is completed now going towards the second step mm, just scroll down below and here we have to set the configure consent screen now so click on the head on to cloud console now and it is a google cloud platform so we have to create a google cloud account and we have to host the project on it so in the google cloud platform just click on here here you will see the project options so click on the expand and now search in the all so i have created the previous project that is assistant one so click on assistant one so now we have to create an api so click on the api and services and click on dashboard So you have to click here, enable APIs and services. Now the API library will open. Now we have to type here or you can say search here. Google Assistant API. We have to enable the Google Assistant API. So click on the Google Assistant API. So this is it. So click on it. And we have to enable this Google Assistant API. Just click on enable. So it will take time to enable. So wait for a while. So it is now enabled. And uh, go to again this hamburger menu. Click on credentials. And now we have to configure the consent screen. So click on configure consent screen. And uh, here we have to select external and then create so it will create an app so in the support mail you have to select a mail you have logged in into so in this page the OAuth consent screen you have to select a support mail the support mail will be the mail which have logged in already so just scroll down and here in the developer contact information you can enter your mail I'll enter my personal mail so just make sure to don't enter any fake mail or anything so click on save and continue now we have to skip these steps so just click on save and continue and again save and continue now scrolling down here we have to test users and go back to the dashboard 
now again here in the test users we have to add users here so just click on the back button and now you can see here the test users tab so again we have to enter the email address and click on the developer contact information again enter the email address then save and continue then again save and continue for skipping the scopes button and here in the test users we have to add users here so under the add users type the email address of the gmail account that will be used to authenticate preferably your current gmail account you can add multiple gmail accounts by adding a comma after each the each of the gmail accounts so i will enter one of my gmail account so i'll enter one account and click on add so i have added the email address right now so you can see here the added email address so make sure to add the email address and check that if you see the email address appear here then click on save and continue now click on back to dashboard we have to go to the github page again and download the google assistant installer from here so click on releases and now we have to download the google assistant just click on the google assistant setup exe so you can use your if you have mac os and other linux you can follow the melvin guide also so i'll download this google assistant setup so it will take time for download so the download is completed just open it and we have to install this installer click on next next install and just wait for a while to install the google assistant setup so this is the unofficial setup so make sure to try with your own risk so now click on finish so the google assistant is installed now so here it in the taskbar itself so click on right click on it and click on launch assistant so click on the settings and uh, under the authentication tab remember you have to download the auth key file so put the path of that key file here so now after uh, relaunching the google assistant this window will open so we have to get the token right now so in this sign in tab make sure to enter that email which you have give the access to remember the test users tab so you have to enter the test users tab email so log in with that email itself so i'll log in with that email so i'll log in with that email and now the access will be given to this so google so it will uh, notify you like this google hasn't verified this app because you have yourself created this app so you can trust this app so click on continue and click on allow so it will ask for this you are allowing project and blah 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 and make sure to trust the project you you made the project yourself so you have to trust it otherwise so click on allow and we have to copy this code right now so click on copy and paste this this code so click on submit so we have to wait for a few seconds so again it is saying relaunch is required a relaunch is required to change for text place so click on relaunch assistant and that's it here is the assistant and now if you if i ask something like meaning of any word here's the definition of any so you can use the google assistant for right now for any applications like you use in the your android devices and by connecting with this email you can also control the your smart home devices and all just by connecting with this email so you can control all the smart home devices from your pc itself so the most of the features will work like same as the google assistant so i'll click on what can you do and it will play some games and conversation and sports and shopping also what's the news about the nhl so you can ask anything about it so it will basically what i'm saying is it will work same as that of the android apps at the end if you have installed the google assistant on your windows devices so you can enjoy all the google assistant features on your windows and you can connect all the like smart home devices and all and control via your pc itself 
So big shout out to the developer Melvin for making this possible for uh, porting this or methoding this uh, full steps and detailing it on the GitHub for the Windows and other devices. So all the credit goes to him. So if you like the video, hit subscribe and see you in my next video.